Danger, falling rocks. Come on. I'm Mark Mitchinson, and this is the Terry Huffer Guide to Beaver. It's an anti-hero story, you know, so it's that kind of, it's the guy who you want to do well, who just never seems to kind of get it right, and the relationships that follow on from that. The first stop on the high road Pihar tour is caves. People come and play music and light fires and just hang out and lose their virginity. What happened? No. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Don't. I need to bathe you with my balm. It doesn't need bathing in balm. Oh, uh, you need TLC. No, no, I don't. Terry's whole journey is about getting away from what he was to try and find some piece of quiet somewhere. And the Lion Rock is the kind of significance of that, you know? That one iconic structure, of natural structure that kind of goes, oh, if only. If only that was me. You know, and it's hard not to believe, Fiona, you know, looking at this wonderment, that somehow that life doesn't have some sort of special purpose, you know, a reason to get up in the morning. And that somehow the people... Hey, hi, Camp Ground, Fiona speaking. So here we are at the, um, the bowling club, the Pihar Bowling Club, established in 1955, as the sign says. And, um, yeah, it, uh, one, of the, one of the pivotal places that, uh, for High Road, partly just because they've been so brilliant to us and, and allowed us to come and film in there any time. And, uh, and partly just because it's just one of the great venues still left in Auckland that is originally from the 50s and is, hasn't changed. I also noticed in the, the extras of that scene is David Slack. Yeah, the Slackster, secret fan. Is that the biggest celebrity cameo? Aside from Emma Thompson, of course. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Greg. Her partner is um, a good old friend of mine, and um, they'd seen it and loved the web series and kind of went, wouldn't it be a good idea if Terry was your brother? And, you know, that sort of self-deprecating thing that's very British and English they liked. It was lovely that that happened and nobody knew about it, and it's kind of carried itself through. And we're not making a big deal out of it because it's lovely that she just said yes. Do you really want to be one of those rock stars who go on go, oh, you know, oh, 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 I'm so cool, I'm so fucking cool, and no one's got the guts to tell them it's over? No need to talk about Liam Gallagher like that. So, the iconic Piha store, a stalwart of High Road, it's the place where Terry comes to get the news. And there is kind of a, a relationship between Terry and the owner. I thought you types were like very uncomfortable. What? We had a lot of food from here and the best pies, arguably, in the land, uh, sold and made in the shop. And finally, um, here we are in Terry's house, Buzz the Wonder Dog, Old Man of the Ridge. A great opportunity to use the director's house, who is Justin Harwood, and who wrote it. And um, he kindly let the film crew use his house. Foolish man. And what people won't know is you actually live next door. That's actually, we do live here, yeah. Justin lives here and I live, yeah, actually next door. It's my cathedral, I love it here. And it's, so when I had the opportunity to move back in 2002, you know, and buy a place, I, I grabbed it with both hands. I was living in London and, and compared to living in Shepherd's Bush or living in Piha Beach, you go, come on. So you're very close to being Terry, aren't you? Well, because some people say that, you know, I think there's quite a, I think there's quite a gap. It's hard enough being Terry, let alone do his lifestyle afterwards. You know what they'd say, the truth is best served by fiction. <laughs>